Welcome to this special edition of Wildcat Sports Update. I'm Jim Boyle, and today we have the honor and privilege to bring you the seven seniors of the girls' basketball team. We want to thank them for their hard work and dedication to everything they do for Wilmington Athletics. Our first senior is Elizabeth Stokes. Her parents are Kristen and Chuck Stokes, and welcome, Elizabeth. Thank you. Okay, it's been a weird year, as I've asked everyone else uh, with COVID. What have you? Uh, what are your takeaways from how this has been played out your senior athletic season? Um, I think that. I mean, it's definitely a lot different than any other year that I remember, um, and the rules are different. But I think we're all kind of just happy that we get to have every practicing game that we get, and we just appreciate every moment we are together. Okay, do you have any, like a funny, not funny, any stories over the first six weeks we've had for practice, stories of you and your teammates, what you guys have done, anything that's really going to stand out? Um, probably just like, I don't know, like just, at practice, we kind of like we took our first two games, we lost, but since then we've kind of like built each other up and pushed each other harder. And I think that the mindset has become like, you know, work hard and we've been showing it in the games. Good. And any thoughts on your current, uh, just thoughts on your coaching staff and teammates, what you've taken away from them this year? Um, I've learned so much from both my coaches and teammates. Coach Robinson is amazing. She knows so much about the game. Um, and that's, it really has made me a better player. Um, and my teammates are always being positive and they are always just there to say good job or you should work on this. And I've learned so much from all of them. That's good. And is there a particular high, the basketball highlight that you can um, think of or remember from your career? Um, I don't know. It's, it's hard to say kind of, everything I don't know I mean every time you do something good and you feel like you made an impact on the game it just makes you feel really good and uh, do, you have, do you play any other sports um, I used to play soccer and softball okay and um, going forward do you watch do you watch any of these games and, and critique yourself when we when we play them on WCTV um, yeah I've watched a few after the games um, they're fun to watch, um, even when you know what's going to happen. You like are like, like. <laughs> That's good. And then, um, uh, ac athletic influences for you. Are there? Is there anybody out there really you can think back that since you were little to now that really influenced to keep you going to where you are? Um, definitely my parents, especially my dad. I mean, he's pushed me really hard to be a good athlete. Um, my brothers also helped me be a great athlete. Just playing with them out in the yard and everything is like giving me a competitive drive, and you always want to, you know, just push yourself to be better. And it's just kind of pushed me through my whole athletic career. Okay, great. And um, back to the attitude question, which one of your teammates is the uh, funniest? Definitely Kylie. <laughs> and um, what, what's one takeaway you get from Coach Robinson? What, what are you going to take away from, you're going to leave here and what's going to take away? Um, well, at the beginning of the uh, season, she, made uh, like three words that um, she wanted to push on us all season. And it was um, like her attitude is just like, she's always like be persistent, unified, appreciate everything you have, be diligent um, and have passion for the game. And just like the way she pushes us and makes us a team closer together, I think really makes an impact on the team. Awesome. And um, warm up song, what one gets you moving the most? Um, I like Michael Jackson, Man in the Mirror. <laughs> okay, and now you're to senior year. Um, what are you going to miss the most? And what are your future plans? Um, I think I'm going to miss my teammates the most. Um, it's a great group of girls who I've really become bonded to, and everyone's so friendly, and we all have the same goal, and that just makes it so much more special. Um, and my plans, I'm not really sure where I'm going to go to school yet. I'm still deciding, but um, leaning towards business, but we'll see. Okay. Look straight into that camera there. Give a shout out to family, friends, family, whatever. Um, I want to thank my parents, my family, uh, my mom and dad for always pushing me to be the best person I ever I can be, um, and my brothers for pushing me to good, be a good athlete and be competitive. Thank you. Thank you.
Okay, our next senior is a senior captain, number 23, Kylie Ducharme. Her Hi. parents are Linda and Bob Ducharme. <laughs> and welcome. Thank you. Um, real quickly, it's been a weird year. Uh, mm -hmm. You are a captain. Uh, yeah. What are your experiences from this year? Um, I think it's just taking every moment that we have and just being grateful for it and like taking advantage of it and like just working hard. Okay, any highlights you look through? We've been through five games. Um, can we get five more? What are your highlights? Through? Yesterday we did a talent show at practice and yeah, I, that was easily one of the funnest things we did because I think it was just so like no pressure and we were just able to have fun. Okay, what do you take away from this year with your teammates and your coaches? Um, I Just to be grateful. You know, just like we might not always have this and just to be able to play is just awesome. Okay, do you have any highlight? Your whole basketball career, you've probably <laughs> been basketball since you're knee high to me. What's your, what's your highlight for the whole basketball career? Um, I probably when we won league champs last year, I just think it was fun and it was just awesome to be able to do it with my teammates. Okay, and influences on you going for, uh, to get to this point? That's a hard one. Um, I don't, ooh, that's a hard one. Probably my family. I think my family does so much for me and they really push me and they like allow me to be who I want and play basketball and everything. Okay, favorite team, player, coach, um, whatever? Not coach, team or player? Probably the Celtics. I like, Jay, I like Jalen Brown though. Okay, that's good. Yeah, he's better. That's good. What's one thing you learned from Coach Robinson? Um, I don't think I can say just one thing. She's taught me so much, I think, like mentally and then like on the court, obviously. Just hard to pick. Now you were to, we, we had Elizabeth Stokes on, she said you were the funniest. <laughs> who is, who is the Donna. quiet, who is the quietest person on the team, of the senior? Elizabeth. <laughs> well, she's, she's just, she's not like, she doesn't, she's just a quiet person. You know, she talks, but she's just very quiet. <laughs> okay, and uh, if, if, like in baseball, they do walk-up songs, you guys yeah. do warm-up songs. Oh. What's your favorite warm-up song? Oh, I, mm, I'm like really bad with music. I don't know. Okay, we'll let you slide on it. Yeah, I have no idea. And, uh, I, and you're a senior, and yes. what, what's your future look like? I'm going to go to Bentley, and I'm going to play basketball, so I'm excited. That's good. Do you know what you're going to study? No. No? I haven't got there yet. Okay, that's good. And what are you going to miss the most? Um, I just think all my friends, like I've played with these girls for so long, and just it will just be different, but you know. Okay. We'll give you a chance. Shout out to your look straight into the camera. Hey, family. Shout out to my grandparents. You guys are the best. Thank you. Sweet. Our next senior is uh, Kayla Smith. Her parents are Kelly and Michael Smith. Uh, Kayla, welcome. Thank you. Uh, like I asked, uh, we ask everybody, uh, what's it been like in the weird year we've had, COVID year, for this for your senior year? It's definitely been strange. It's definitely not ideal, but it's just important to all of us to be to know that we are grateful to have this season in the first place. And I know a lot of people aren't as fortunate to get that. So we just need to be grateful that we do get to practice those two times a week or have those games. Okay, what are your thoughts on your current coaching staff, your current teammates? What, 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 what are they bringing? What are, what are you getting out of that? Everyone's great. Like they've always been great. They're, we're really supportive of one of each other, of each other and we have a really good bond. How long have you been playing Wilmington High School basketball? So four years and then three years on varsity. Okay, and how long before that have you played? Just like maybe like kindergarten. I don't know. Oh, that's <laughs> a good. Long time. And in the what's what's your Wilmington basketball highlight and your total basketball highlight? Um, I think both are honestly just winning the league last year. That was a really special moment and it was really good. Yeah. Okay. Um, other sports you play? Do you play anything? I played soccer for two years, but I don't play it anymore. Okay, and uh, we've had two Celtics and one Jalen Brown. Who's your favorite team and player, uh, if, um, if you even really, watch? <laughs> I don't really watch NBA that much, but the Celtics, of course, and yeah, I don't really know which player. Who do you model your game after? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I just kind of go with the go with the flow. Yeah, I go with the flow. Yeah, that's good. Um, <laughs> Then I've, I, I asked Elizabeth, do you, um, do you ever go home and watch these games that we broadcast on TV? Yes. <laughs> yes. Right. Are they enjoyable? Do you get frustrated with what you're doing? Um, both. It's like enjoyable if there's good moments, but if I see myself turn the ball over, I get frustrated with myself, but I kind of use that as a learning point and try to fix it for the next games. One, um, one thing you've learned from Coach Robinson this year? Uh, I've learned a lot. Um, she's just a really good coach and a really good person. She makes all of us want to be better people and players. So. Okay, and then uh, we asked this question, and we got Kylie as one, and Elizabeth as the other. Who is the most intellectual, um, brainiest player of the seniors? Who's really the book smart? Who's the person into the books? Maybe Jenna Sweeney. She has a really good <laughs> high GPA. She's really smart. 
That's good. And uh, uh, your favorite warm-up song? What do you? What, when they play that song, what what is really motivating you to, to get Man ready? Man in the mirror. That's a good one. Okay. And uh, what are you going to miss the most? Um, just my teammates and the coaches. Obviously, like they're my best friends and. Good time. Okay, so being a senior, plans for next year. What do you have? So I don't know where I'm going to school yet, but I know I'm majoring in nursing. Good. And look straight into the camera. Give a shout out to everyone. Um, thanks to my friends, family. You guys are awesome. My teammates, you guys are great too. <laughs> All right. Kayla, thank you very much. Thank you. Our next senior is uh, number 14, senior captain Jenna Sweeney. Her parents are Cheryl and Paul Sweeney. And welcome, Jenna. Thank you. And uh, like I've been asking everybody else, it's been a weird year. You're a senior captain in the COVID year. What, what are your takeaways from how this year's gone? It's been tough, um, but I'm grateful that I've been able to play. Um, and um, it's hard to keep people motivated, but we just have to stay positive because um, we're going to get anything thrown at us. So it's important to remember that just stay positive and um, we're working with what we got. Okay, and thoughts on the current, the, the current coaching staff, the current teammates, what are you, you going to take away from them? Um, I love our um, environment that we have at practice with the coaches. It's like very fun and lighthearted, but at the same time we get things done. So I'll definitely take that away. And what other sports do you play at Wilmington? I play soccer and softball. Okay, and um, this year, what, uh, we've only, like I said, five games. Highlights from this year and highlight from this year for basketball and like a highlight for anything for your sports career at Wilmington? This year for basketball, um, I've made a few outside shots and I've never really been a shooter, so that was good to look at. And then just for another sport, last year at one of my soccer games, I scored a goal with like less than a minute left, so we won. So that was definitely something I'll remember. That's great. And I've asked some of the other girls, do you go home and watch the WCT coverage on? Oh, yeah. Oh, you do? Yes. And are you, what are you, do you learn anything from that? Are you, or is it humorous? How do you, how do you take that? Both. I definitely, like Kayla said, like I, I look at it and I'm like, oh, like I messed up on that. I have to make sure to fix that. But I just like watching it because obviously like we're the ones playing, so we can't see. So it's good to see from like a different perspective. That's good. Um, influences on you, in, athletic influences on you? Um, probably my... Just like the teammates that I've played with, like I just looked up to the upperclassmen so much when I was an underclassman. So now I kind of want to be like that for the underclassmen that I'm with. And um, one thing you learned from Coach Robinson over the years you've played for? Gosh, um, probably to just play with your heart. She knows if we put all of our effort in that like nothing bad is going to come up, come of it. So. Good. Good. And uh, the question about the teammates, who's the most serious of the teammates? Serious? The seniors or the... Because we got all senior. Maybe they're none are serious. But we oh haven't. my gosh, I don't feel like anyone's really that serious. I feel like Kayla's the most, like, mature, but she's not serious. She'll, still, she'll definitely be, like, goofy. Well, that's good. That's good. So it's, it's a great team. And a gr oh, you've yeah. had a great bond with yeah. your teammates. That's excellent. Um, I asked, favorite warm-up song? What, what really motivates you? I think when I hear Time of Our Lives by Pitbull come on during warm-ups, that's when I'll start to, like, dance. Good. That's excellent. Um, what are you going to miss the most? The teammates, team environment. Like, I'll miss all, we don't have them this year, but I'll miss the team dinners and bus rides and just all my teammates. Okay. And uh, what are your future plans? So I'm going to go to college, don't know where. I might play soccer, so we'll see. Any ideas what you want to study? Criminal justice. Criminal justice, okay. So you're going to become a cop in town? No. <laughs> so you're going to become a cop in town. Don't arrest me while I'm driving too fast. <laughs> uh, and finally, look straight into the camera and uh, give a shout out to anyone in your family, friends, whatever you want. Um, I'd like to thank all my family. Uh, they've been with me through all my sports and my friends, and they've just been so supportive. My grandparents, too, they love watching me, so I'm so happy to give them that joy. All right, thank you very much, Jenna. Thank you. Our next senior is Kiera Nadeau. Uh, Allison and Ken Nadeau are her parents, and welcome. Thank you. Um, real quickly, it's been a weird year with COVID. Um, what are your takeaways from how this year has played out? I feel like we really bonded over the season, especially because we're all experiencing it together. Um, I feel like we came together more and 
it's so different, but I think we took the best out of it. Okay, and um, any highlights from the year you can think of? I think, well, last year, the league champions. I think I've had a couple of good defensive games, and I've started a couple times, which is nice. But, yeah, I mean. And thoughts on your current coaches and teammates as you go through this together as a group? What's, yeah. it, what's it been like? It, it's amazing. I think we all have a good bond. We're all hyping each other up. If someone's down, then we're cheering them up. I think we're all good. Okay, and uh, how long have you played basketball? So I played basketball for high school for four years, and then this is my second year on varsity, and then travel and rec. And any other sports? I play field hockey and softball. So you're a three-sport athlete. Yes. Um, so what are your highlights, athletic highlights at, at Wilmington or with the basketball team? Um, softball, one time I was rounding the base, and I, I, someone was in my way, and I pushed them over, but it was their fault because they were in my way. So I think that was, and then I slid into home and scored. So I think that's one of my highlights for softball. But, yeah. And then um, influences on you in your athletics? Um, probably my parents and my dad because he was coaching travel, probably just pushing me and all that stuff. Okay, and favorite team? I would say Celtics, and I like watching the UConn women's basketball. They're competitive, stuff like that. That's good. Um, so do you, we broadcast a lot of games at WCTV, they go to tape. Do you go home and watch any of them? I do, and I'm going to say the same thing with them. If I see myself, I'm like, okay, and then I do something, and it's just not. But no, it's good with your commentating too. Just think you're going to get to see yourself 10 years from now. Yeah. And you get to look at it. And um, one takeaway from Coach Robinson. You know, I think, well, she does help the post on the post moves. So I've learned some post moves on that. But I think just that we need to all play together and bond and does that. She's a great coach. Okay, now we had asked the, um, the, the, the questions about teammates. What's one adjective that would describe you? Me? One word or? One word that your teammates, oh. are you funny or um, uh, um, silent or quiet or? I I'm not silent. Loud. Singer. Okay. Good and then, singer. Great. And then um, what are your future plans? Um, I'm going to college. I don't know where yet, but probably studying criminal justice. Yeah. Okay. And what are you going to miss the most about all of this? Probably just all of us coming together, hanging out, being a part of a team, because I'll probably do like um, I probably won't play. So just all the teammates and being together. Okay, and look right into the camera there. Give a shout out to whoever you want. Um, shout out to my parents and everyone who watches. Um, thank you. Our next senior, Alexa Kelly. Her parents are Helen and Sean Kelly. And Alexa, welcome. Hi. Hi. Um, it's been a weird year for you guys uh, with COVID and all the delays and practice. What do you take away from this year? Um, I think the most important thing that we all have been trying to remember is that we just have to be thankful for every practice and game that we get because we don't know which one might be taken away from us and which could be our last. Okay, and highlights that you've had for this year? Um, I think I've definitely developed as a player, so just like individual small moments throughout the games and definitely as a team, I think with each game we've worked together and done a lot better, especially winning our records, definitely going up, so. Okay, and uh, current coaches, current teammates, um, how have they influenced you this year? Um, Coaching-wise, I think I've learned a lot from all the coaches. They've each taught me different things, and my teammates have definitely influenced that as well, making sure I have a good attitude on the court. Okay, and how many years have you played for the Wilmington High School basketball team, and how many years have you played basketball in general? Um, I've played basketball for the high school for four years, and I've been playing since I was like five or something. <laughs> I don't know. And highlights uh, over your basketball career, or something that stands out? Um, I think I've had more like personal highlights with my club team. I play out of Haverhill, and uh, I had a few game-winning shots with them, so I had a good season. So you play basketball around the clock? All year, yeah. Oh, good. Um, other sports that you play? Do you play any of those sports here? I played soccer up until senior year. I decided not to play this year, just to focus on basketball. Okay, and who has been uh, past or present coaches? Who have been? Who's influenced you to get to this point? I think every coach I've had has definitely impacted me in some way, whether it's club or for the high school. I think everyone's had a small part in who I am as a player today. Okay, and we've asked everyone else, uh, favorite team or player or basketball-wise? Uh, I'm going to have to agree with Liz. I like the Celtics and Jason Tatum. Okay. And um, 
Do you watch? We put the games on TV. Do you watch yourself on WCTV? And what do you? What yeah. do you? What, what's it like? Um, it's definitely different watching from an outside standpoint. I think that when you see yourself play on the court, you definitely learn from your own mistakes, and it helps us in the next games. Okay, and one thing you've learned from Coach Robinson, one specific thing you've picked up that you can um, take fo forward. I think it would definitely be that there's no I in team, and that everyone on the team has some type of impact. Okay, then on the adjective piece, which teammate or senior has the most, not counting basketball, is the most talented um, either singer, dancer, uh, whatever? Um, I'm going to have to say Kiara because she definitely carried the white team singing in our talent show the other night. Oh, that's awesome. And your favorite, what's, what motivates you when you do a favorite walk-up song or favorite song when you warm up? Um, I think we have a pretty good playlist, but probably Man in the Mirror. Okay. And what are you going to miss the most about this year, about this whole basketball yeah. high school? Uh, I think I'm just going to miss my whole, all my teammates in general just because I think we've all gotten pretty close. So. Okay. And what's the future hold for you as you're a senior now? Uh, I'm going to go to Westfield State, and I'm actually going to keep playing basketball, and I'm going to major in elementary education. And I'll get you to look right in the camera, give a shout out to your family, anybody you want. I want to thank my parents and grandparents and all my friends and teammates. All right, thank you very much, Alexa. Thank you. Our next senior, Alessia Puccio, whose parents are Billy Joe and Anthony Puccio. Welcome, Alessia. Thank you. Okay. Uh, like I've asked everyone else, it's been a tough year, weird year. Things have, with COVID, things have changed. What are you take? What are your takeaways from this year? Um, I would say definitely to just like enjoy the moments you get to spend with your friends like I know this year has been really tough trying to stay at home with your families being stuck alone but I know especially basketball has made me really realize how lucky we are to have the season that we have. Okay and how long have you played high school basketball for the Cats? I've played for high school four years and this is my first year on varsity. Okay and what are your takeaways from your coaches and current teammates? What do you, what, what do you feel like you're taking away? Um, you're getting? I would say just to like really not take those minutes you get in for granted. Like when you're in there, you just got to make the most of it. And if you mess up, just move on because you got the next play to worry about. Okay. And before high school, did you play basketball? Have you played for a yeah. travel? I've played um, since like kindergarten, but I played club since the sixth grade. Okay. And then the question will be highlights, high school highlights or club highlights or travel highlights or one of those? I would say high school highlight would be today I got to start. So that was really fun and exciting and we got to win with that and I'd say in general would be a club game that I played I scored I think 11 or 12 points and I remember having a really good game okay are there any other sports you play besides basketball yeah I do spring track spring track okay um, who, who would you say influences you the influenced you the most um, grow coming up through basketball definitely my dad and then who, favorite team and player um, Celtics, Jason Tatum, a little bit cliche, but he's definitely my favorite. All right, and um, I like to ask this question. Do you watch yourself or the games, replays of the games on WCTV, and are you overly critical of yourself? Um, definitely overly critical, but I don't think I'm overly critical when I rewatch myself more like in the moment, because I don't have a choice. My dad will make me watch the clips just so I see what I did wrong. Good, and one thing you've taken away from, one thing you've learned from Coach Robinson this year. Um, I would say definitely to not get in your head because that's something I've always struggled with after like making a bad play just to like move on to the next play. Okay now the uh, the adjective question which which one of your senior cohorts is the most stylish? Ooh, stylish that's a tough one. I don't know I think we all kind of dress the same. Ugh. I don't know. That's such a tough question. I, I hate to ask you the tough questions right at the end. Um, when you're warming up, what's your favorite warm-up song? What gets you motivated? What pumps you up ready to go? Um, probably Pretty Young Thing by Michael Jackson. Oh, perfect. And then what are you going to miss the most about all this high school uh, act athletics? Um, I think just playing basketball. Like This is going to be my last season of playing basketball, so I think it's not really set in yet. So I'm going to miss it a lot. Well, the good news is we have five more games. Yes. Get you going. Uh, what are your future plans? 
Um, so I'm going to be going to Merrimack College for elementary education in the honors program. So I'm looking forward to that. Great news. And look straight in the camera. Give a shout out to family, friends, whoever you want. Mom, Dad, thank you so much for all the years you've put into my basketball career. And I'm excited for the future. All right. Alessia, thank you very much. Thank you. Can I say that right at the end? Yes. Thanks to our seven senior girls basketball players for giving us the opportunity to interview and find out a little bit more about them. For Wildcat Sports Update, this is Jim Boyle, and we'll see you on down the road.